Can you hear me? Okay. Hola. 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 Buenos dias, New Hope. Mi nombre es Pamela Antoneta. Yolanda Maria Velasquez. Atención. But you can call me Pam. I was one of 22 women who attended the 2012 Women's Conference. For three days, we went. And we um, were honored in soaking in the presence of God. Amen. We went there expecting big, and we received big. We received one salvation. We received five baptisms of the Holy Spirit. We received two confirmations of speaking in tongues. We received five who fell under the power of the Holy Spirit. And we received two healings. Thank you, Lord. Um, what, we all came back with testimonies, but we have two for you to share today. Um, so with that said, I would like to bring up Sister Helen Lee. Um, as the announcer, I received salvation, um, but one of the big things that I brought back home from this trip was um, this place of prayer that God had revealed to me. Um, and I'm not talking about the physical place. It was my first time at Palm Spring, but I wasn't talking about the literal place. I was talking about uh, when I worship him, I know it's just between me and God, you know, and what other people are thinking or doing doesn't matter. You know, I don't care if someone looks at me because I'm making a weird face because I'm crying or whatever it is. It doesn't matter because it's just between God and me. So for the first time at the conference, even with literally hundreds of other women around me, I was able to praise God with a full and true heart. And um, I felt, you know, his presence and his love. And it was just so amazing. I knew I didn't want to let that go. Um, so on our drive back home, we had a long drive. Uh, I prayed that we wouldn't lose, or I wouldn't lose this place. Um, because it was just so great. And I didn't want to learn that, or lose that personal connection to God. Because as a child growing up, uh, the church that I went to, uh, people would go to the retreats, you know, they'd be on fire, raising their hands, singing, clapping, and all that stuff. But when they came back home, every Sunday they would um, do like a routine, just clap and kind of sit there, all structural. So I didn't want that to happen to me. So the Sunday after we got back, it was the day after. I was on fire, of course. But uh, when I went through my week, it kind of wore down on me, and I just couldn't wait back. I couldn't wait to come back to this church and worship him, you know. Amen. And when I came back, I was on fire again. It was yeah. great and amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, I realized that I didn't have to wait, you know, because I was thinking, why am I waiting? You know, why am I waiting the, for the week to wear me down? Um, and I decided, you know, I don't have to wait. I can praise him every moment of my life, you know, when I'm getting ready for bed. You know, as I'm laying in bed, closing my eyes, I can praise him with a true heart. And even at work, when I can't raise my hands and I can't, you know, scream praises, I can be screaming praises in my heart. So that's what I learned, and I encourage, you know, everyone, especially the ladies, you know, don't worry about your hair or your makeup or anything like that. Just praise him with a true heart, and he's going to touch your life. to share with you that impacted me the most. Um, the first one was my relationship with the Lord. Um, in this uh, conference, we did a lot of praise and worshiping. And that just um, set up our spirits to receive the message that was up ahead for us. And so as I proposed in my heart to um, open it up to him and receive all that he had for me, he literally spoke to me. And, and in speaking to me, what I received was directions, convictions, and most especially, deliverance. Amen. Healing. I had a lot of healing at that conference. And um, as a result from that, I was so ignited with the fire of God that I just returned back to my first love, and that was Jesus. Praise God. My second, um, the second thing that 
was so uh, special to me was I was able to spend time with special women in the world. They are so awesome. We prayed together, we ate together, we shopped together, we screamed together, we cried together, we prayed together, we did everything together for three days. And yet it doesn't always come. So women, if you have the opportunity, take it. Because we have something in us to share with one another. God bless you. your hearts. Um, we want to thank the Lord, of course, for the experience that he gave us. Thank you, Lord. Um, thank you to the pastors for your love and support. Thank you. Um, and thank you to those who supported us in our fundraising events. Um, and to you women out there, um, we are here to tell you that this is not the end. It's only the beginning. Yeah. Amen. Uh, we are to stand strong in the Deborah spirit, barefoot, barefoot. <laughs> and pregnant, walking on holy ground. Yeah. So, rise, rise up!